Overnight in Brooklyn, one person is dead after 12. A dozen people shot near playground. Police say that neighbors had gathered for an annual block party. This was in Brownsville last night, but things took a violent turn just before 11 o'clock. Detectives say at least one gunman showed up and started firing into the crowd. A dozen people were hit. One of them was killed. That's a 38-year-old man. Witnesses described the chaos, people ducking for cover and running away in a stampede. There was a lot of gunshots. It's unfortunate that this has to happen in our community. Everyone was really having a great time. The music was great. Blue Magic was here. A lot of old time is here. Really a great event. At this hour, no word on the conditions of the other victims or their identities. The shooter still on the run. We will have. People shot during an annual block party in Brownsville, Brooklyn. People ran as the shots were fired inside a playground. CBS 2's Rena Roy has the latest. Well, Jessica, remnants of the chaotic scene are still here on this playground behind us. Trash was scattered as bullets flew and people ran for their lives. A dozen of them were shot. One man is dead and another seriously wounded. Detectives scouring a Brownsville playground for key evidence, hoping for clues that will lead them to at least two mystery shooters responsible for mass bloodshed Saturday night. Why? What, what was that big that you had to put others' lives in danger? Babies, pregnant people, old, up in age people. Denisia Murdoch was one of the 12 who were shot when the last event in the week long Old Timers Day celebration was coming to an end just before 11 p.m. When we turned back around the run, I heard two shots go off and then I was hitting my back. Her mother says an undergarment likely saved the 21 year old's life. The thickness of the bra line, the bullet was caught there. So when the EMS unsnapped her bra, the bullet fell to I was on the floor panicking. I couldn't breathe. Everybody was surrounding me. My heart was racing. I was fainting in and out of it. I couldn't stand up. 
Police say a 38 year old man was shot and killed. Another was very seriously injured. The victim's ages range from 21 to 55 years old. Investigators now working to figure out a motive and if this was gang related. If you look back historically at shootings, violence within uh, Brooklyn North and specifically the 73 precinct, about half of them are gang crew related. So that's not that's a thing that we're going to take a look at definitely. There were a hundred cops monitoring the event when the violence broke out. Detectives have recovered one of two guns used from the crime scene and are now asking the public for help in the case. If anyone has any video before the event, during the event, before the shooting, during the shooting, and maybe after the shooting, please, please turn that over to us. We will find the suspects involved. They will be held responsible. I don't have a doubt in my mind. And Mayor de Blasio also added that this community event has been a peaceful one for decades, saying that this shooting will not define the neighborhood as a whole and that the event will go on as planned next year. In Brownsville, Brooklyn, Rena Roy, CBS 2 News. Now to breaking news in Brooklyn. One person is dead and nearly a dozen others injured after a shooting that was supposed to be a peaceful neighborhood event. CBS 2's Christina Fan is live in Brownsville at the still active scene. Christina? Cindy, Andrea, we just spoke to a community activist. He was really hurting this morning. He told us that the shooting happened during a yearly event called Old Timers Week. He says the park was just filled with the elderly and children, many of them struggling to escape during the panic. We know a 38 year old man was killed, 11 others injured. Several of the victims were seriously hurt. Some had to be helped onto stretchers, others had to be bandaged. Mayor Bill de Blasio tweeted early this morning calling for more gun safety, saying that the shooting shattered a peaceful neighborhood event. Neighbors tell us that the old timer celebration had been going on for 10 to 15 years. It is an unofficial community gathering that happens during the summer. The gunshots ringing out just minutes after that last song was played of what was supposed to be a joyous event with lots of police presence. This is what witnesses described hearing. We all thought it was firecrackers because, you know, you felt so safe with police presence here. Who's going to think this is gunfire at an event like this? And then when you start seeing the crowd running and screaming, then that's when everything clicked on that, you know, that this is gunfire. So the first thing you're looking for is cover. No arrests have been made yet this morning. We know that community activists plan on being here later today, demanding even more security at events like this in the future. We are also hoping to get an update from police. Reporting live from Brownsville, Brooklyn, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News.